two men journey to the bars and restaurants of Scandinavia to find amazing beers, always with the same question. Hey, what's on tap? It's time to find out. Welcome. <laughs> what's on tap podcast? Uh, I am your host, Stefan. I'm Matthias. And we're joined by Chanter again. Hello. And today we are very excited because we have two beers that just came out at the Stimbologet. Both are Swedish. And I don't know if one of them's for the GBG Beer Week, which just ended. Yeah. And the other, I assume, is probably released in conjunction with that as well from uh, Stigma Um Exciting. It is exciting. So these are both very, uh, so one from Dugas and one from Stig Baguettes, two big Swedish breweries. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I guess like two of the biggest breweries in Sweden right now. Up there with Omnipolo and Brewski and Popples and yeah, yeah. the other guys. Let's name them all. Yeah, know. yeah. Just run yeah, keep, going. yeah. keep going. Tell us more, Chandra. What else you got? We're, we're both waiting with yeah. Yeah. high with anticipation. <laughs> What's another podcast? You went to the Barski. How was that? It was really good. I like it. And it's just down the street from me. So. Uh, Did you try the ramen? Nope. I got there too late. Okay. Yeah. But I'm excited to try the ramen. Yeah. I've only heard only good things about it. Okay. So I guess now you'll have an excuse to actually come visit me in Helsingborg since I never... I know. will. I'll see you in two weeks in okay. Helsingborg. Well, I mean, we could go to Barski, but we don't have to visit Chantra. Oh, good point. Yeah. I like the way you're thinking. Yeah. Always two steps ahead. Yep. <laughs> but you went to Berlin as well. So and did you make it to Stone? Made it to Stone Brewery. How was that? It was wonderful. It was also one of the sunniest days. So it was a combination of nice. uh, no rain, sun out, beers outside. Yeah. It's a lovely brewery. Any other uh, beer bars you would recommend in Berlin? Ooh. Did you go to the, um, oh, what's it called? What? <sighs> I always forget the name of it. It's Excellent. it's the one that has the like the Cantillon tap takeovers and stuff like that. Oh. I think it's the one yeah, yeah, place a... in Berlin that also has like Booker Rider bottles. Yeah, they have Cantillon tap takeover coming yeah, out. Yeah, I exactly. saw that. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, I can't either. You know, like cabin something. Sure. <laughs> I'll just put it this way: I think I have Berlin amnesia. It was just one of those trips. Mm. I'll, I'll think don't, about the beer. Don't even remember where you went. I got it. Just an all drunken haze. A drunken haze. I gotcha. Okay, so. To the beers for today. So we'll start with the Sublimo. Yeah. Which has a festive little zombie-looking dolphin on the cover. Um, it is 5.5% ABV Pale Ale. Yep, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's all the label says, nothing else. I can tell you the, the contact phone number and the web address if you really want something. Well, I guess we can. John John Anderson that. did the cover. He did the design of the Sublimo. Cool. Yep. So that's it. Cool. Okay. So this is a very hoppy smelling pale ale. <clears throat> it smells a little bit soapy. Yeah. It could be. Uh, it could be glasses aren't clean enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> Tay Tay loves. Clean glasses. Yeah, he has an obsession with, with, with glasses. Clean clean glass first. Check your glasses before you invite him over to your house. That's true. You'll hear about you it. Better, you better double wash them just to be on the safe side. Oh, me no likey. All, All right. right. Now we got that out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Nay. Nay? That's all you got? That's what you're going with? Why, why nay? I don't know. It just... It smells hoppier than it tastes. Yeah. yeah. It's it's rather thin and kind of lackluster. Yeah. Like you, Stefan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very thin and lackluster. That's, mm. that's the way I usually describe myself. You're a big hit on Tinder, I bet. More grinder. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit like... <clears throat> Earthy in the, in the taste. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's a, a lot of weird sediment in the bottle for some reason. It yeah. doesn't feel like there should be that much sediment in a pale ale. I mean, if it was a I mean, New England IPA, I could go for it. And this yeah, is, but I mean, it is, this is very cloudy. It but is hazy like a hazy. New England style pale ale, I guess. I think that's so. why you expect a little more flavor. I and mean, then there's yeah. just not much. Yeah. There's yeah, there is not a much hop 
flavor to to I back it up. Anything on this, right? There's a weird earthiness to it, and then yeah. it's just kind of a flat, dull, unremarkable finish. Yeah. It's not as good as the well, the offerings that we've been accustomed to by Steve Burgers by now. No. no, it's definitely not Amazing Haze or West Coast or no. any of the others. No. Um, it's very disappointing. Yeah. So, so now what do you want to uh, what do you want to give this? <laughs> There's not much to say about it other than uh, I think this is kind of a pass. <clears throat> yeah, I would have to say it's a pass as well. Okay, so I'm going to give it a two point five. Yeah, I'm going to go for a two three five. I was going to do two five. Two five. All right. So. Okay, moving on to the next one. In both of these, when you go and you, you saw, I saw the people checking him in on Instagram, and the uh, the Instagram. reviews were rather yeah, well, people oh. were talking about having them, and yeah. the the reviews were rather mixed for yeah, both the Sublimo and the yeah. strawberry sour beer from Dugas, which yeah. is our, our next beer. Strawberry is usually quite a tough adjunct to add. Yeah, it can <clears throat> taste a bit weird. So we'll see how see how this goes. So GBG Beer Week is the Gothenburg um, Beer Week. Beer Week that happens every April, first week of April. I think it's usually in March. March, yeah. last of March. Um, and every year, a different brewery um, gets asked to do the beer for that week, yeah. and then it's kind of the the reason that everybody knows what Stigbergets is because their GBG Beer Week IPA it was loaded. Yeah, it was amazing, yeah. and they they brewed it several times through the rest of the year, and then they yeah. they discontinued it and. Put out amazing haze instead. Yeah, but um, they have the new and improved, which is the kind of iteration of. Oh, is it? Okay. Beer. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. I don't. I did get that. It was pretty good. It's really nice. Yes. And then last year it was Beer Blue Tech. Yeah. And the their moment of clarity. Yeah, and it was not that great. It was a session IPA, I believe. Uh, I think it was a session. Yeah. 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 And you, it's still available. Yeah, you can still get it. You yeah. still get it. I don't. I don't even know if I ever tried that one. Uh, well, you would, it's kind of how it is. It's like, I know I tried it, but I could not tell you anything about it. It's a very forgettable session, IPA. Okay. But the Dugas Strawberry Sour Beer says, uh, we got asked to do the official GBG Beer Week 2018. All we could think about was sour strawberries, sour and strawberries, a sour beer with strawberries. So that's what so, we did. Okay. There you and go. I think it really says it all. It does. <laughs> um, this comes in at 5%. And it has kind of a oh that's a wrong beer. I'm like this kind of is a <laughs> but, yep there now the right beer. Jesus. <laughs> it kind of has a strawberryish haze to it. Yeah. It's like, I, I wish it I had smells strawberry. Anything that early. Yeah, I'm like flavor. this has a weird flavor. <laughs> yeah, this kind of looks like the one we just had. Yeah. <laughs> it smells like strawberry jam. Yeah. It does. Yeah. They it got smells, that. They got that really going nice. for it. it. Smells really nice. It smells really nice. Mm. Very. It kind of smell, you know, the um, strawberry kind of drink that you get in the just um, tetra, 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 not, not, yeah, no, the, not pet like the Festus or, or, or the, no, it's, it's, oh, it's one of those, like, looks like the Shivik brand. Okay, yeah. 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 yeah like it, a little... it kind of smells like that. Okay. Much. Yeah, it's very clear. Clean smell. I mean, it's. Pinkish. Pinkish. It's a lot of a lot of high to smell. There you go. It's, there's a lot of a lot of potential here. So yeah. cheers. Let's get into this. Oh, yeah. Interesting. It is sour. It is strawberry. I feel like there's a sweetness to the strawberry that kind of contradicts the sour a little bit. Mm-hmm. But you get it. You get it. There is a bit of sweetness, but I think that it doesn't you get undercut really, the strawberry. No. I think it actually it, it blends. It, you know, in. it blends. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You get like a yeah. sour aftertaste to it. I yeah. think this is pretty nice. I uh, look at quite a bit too. I'm surprised people have been trash talking it because yeah. uh, I I quite this. like this. Yeah, yeah. I think like this on like a little the, warmer day. A bit warmer outside. Yeah. A bit of barbecue going or a smoker going. Uh oh, take take and get wild. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Wild strawberry. That would actually be kind of nice. Mm. What? Do you wild strawberries? Mm. 
And we could call it a wild strawberry ale. They could call it a wild strawberry ale. And then we could watch so... Wild Strawberries by Bergman and then just have the whole Swedish experience complete. Oh, what a day. It would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> Amazing. <Yes>. Yep. <laughs> no, I like this quite a bit. I also uh, was had low expectations from some of the reviews I've heard. I haven't read that? any reviews on yeah. this, actually. So. Yeah, it's seen really mixed reviews, too. So I didn't know what to expect going into this. But I got to say, I think it's really pleasant. I yeah. find it very easy to drink. I think maybe... The ma- the mass consumers probably aren't really into sours yeah. a lot, so maybe, maybe it's yeah. throwing them off. Could be, yeah. I think this is nice. There's nothing you love reading more on um, Untapped where somebody's like, "Uh, hey, stra- sour beers, mm. point five. And you're like, well, well you everyone else them? is giving it like a four, but this one idiot is nothing about sour beers. <laughs> like, well, this is horrible. I'm like, well, <clears throat> then we know where the problem really lies. Yeah. yeah. I don't. Where where is that stuff on? Uh, you. You're the problem. <laughs> So, when in doubt. When in doubt, blame Chantra. <laughs> Super Chantra haven't learned this by now. Yes. <laughs> All the world's ales, it's probably Chantra. <laughs> All right, so Chantra, since you're a uh, guest today, what do you... I'm going to go 3.5. 3.5, All right. Yeah, I'm right there as well. 3.5. Yep. I will also go in at 3.5. <clears throat> all right. So that's, that's pretty good um, all around. I'd say so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow, you really took that to Pound Town. Yep. <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> you really like that one. Well, so did you. I feel we got like more I have to Pound Town now. There you go. Good job, Chantra. Ah, chug it. Ch- chug it. <laughs> the cake stands later. <laughs> okay, so check us out online at what's on tap podcast.com. <clears throat> Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, iTunes, and uh, in more, your dreams. more places. In your dreams. In your Find dreams. us in your dreams. <laughs> it's a bit unsettling. No, it's the best. Okay, so yeah. until next time, keep drinking. Cheers.